second one. During the Lenten season, many people abstain from eating the flesh of warm-blooded animals, and so fish was the preferred meat eaten on the fasting days. Or Shane Roden of the famed Cooking with Shane 876 is here, and he's going to prepare a Lenten meal for us. Morning, Shane. Hi, morning, Thank Delia. you for being with us this morning. First, so, so let's first of all start by telling me what you're going to prepare before we get into the conversation. Well, I'll be doing some tuna fish cakes. Tuna fish cakes? Yes. Oh, yes, <laughs> yes, yes. Right, so you know, um, as you said, uh, Lenten season, Jamaicans tend to abstain from meat. Yes. And tuna is a healthy source of protein, yes. packed with omega-3 and 6 fatty acids. Yeah. So it's a good choice, you know, to substitute for the meat. I love it. Right. Before we start, tell me a little bit about Oshane Road. Well, Oshane, you, know, you end up cooking. How I end up cooking, yes. I, I guess it's just like, when I was growing up, I see all these uncles and aunts, they have all these different techniques, and I guess it's just the amalgamation. I was like, just fall in love with cooking. <laughs> yeah. And I went to university and I had to do culinary courses, and it just... Took off from there. Yeah. But so much that you have cooking with Shane 876. Oh yes, mm. so about last year, um, I had just finished my externship. And so I was there and then my best friend was saying to me, why don't you just start a TikTok platform? Because mm -hmm. you're always cooking. Mm -hmm. And I used to post just to my intimate um, platform on Instagram, friends and family. Yeah. And she was like, just make a TikTok. And I was like, no man, TikTok is for time wasters. And she nag, nag, nag. And I started, made videos, people started to react positively. And it's just been And it just took off from yeah. there. All right. Um, you said it's an amalgamation, but I know every chef has special things that they love to cook, you oh, know. Yes. What's your specialty? My special thing is escafish fish and my family loves it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> After me just tell she and say me can't fry fish. <laughs> Even she and say, my specialty is escafish. Just dash it for me without yeah, warning. Escafish yeah. fish, man. And I, I specifically a lot of Jamaicans tend to not put a little sugar to, you know, balance off the sugar? tart. Yeah, in the escafish sauce. What? Because the, the vinegar is a little, you know, yeah. harsh. So you want to balance it off with a little sugar. Yeah, so that's my pro tip. I would have said thank you for sharing the tip, but I don't even reach as far as the sauce. <laughs> so I'll put that up for future reference. So we're using tuna. Mm -hmm. All right. The first thing about tuna that I don't want, it, it, it's flaky. Oh, yes. So you go and walk me through how you manage to get it to stay together. Yeah, man. And work. All, right. All right. So, you know, you have the tuna here and you have different tuna. Tuna in vegetable, tuna vegetable oil. You have tuna in water. Yeah. The water option is a little bit more healthy. It's not necessarily healthier because all tuna is healthy source of protein. Mm -hmm. But the one in the water tends to be less calorie, less fat. Okay. Right? So you have your tuna and especially the chunked in water. Mm -hmm. Right? And you put it through a strainer and you strain off as much of the water as you can, oh. right? And then you use your fork, your fork, sorry, mm -hmm. and then you go through and just mash it out a little bit, mm -hmm. and then you add your aromatics. Oh, so yeah, oh, your aromatics. Talk to me. Right, so aromatics are essentially herb, um, vegetable spices used to enhance the flavor of food. What do so, we have here? So we have some Onion, we have some escalion, we have some scotch bonnet pepper. Tilt it a little. Oh, we have some the bell peppers, yellow and green. Yeah, yes, I want them to see how beautiful it is. See it there? Yes, and scotch bonnet pepper. You can't leave out the scotch bonnet pepper. No, we're Jamaican, no. right? I and like it. The only thing missing is a little red. Make oh, you know, and I had some red bell yeah. pepper, but I said to myself, <laughs> I said to myself, I don't want to cut the bell pepper yet, you know, because yeah. I'm going to use it for a recipe, <laughs> right? So I have these, and you just add it to your flake too, you know? You add your seasoning here. I have some garlic powder, some black pepper, and a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt. Right? And you just add that, and you, you know, bring it together, mm -hmm. right? No, you need a binder, because yeah. you asked how it is that I got it to hold together. Right, you need a binder. Right. So um, binders are like um, your graham cracker, your uh, breadcrumb, eggs. So what I use were um, eggs, so I whisked. The egg. The whole egg? Yes. Yolk the and all? Yolk and white, everything. Mm -hmm. Chalaza, everything. Mm -hmm. And you put it in, bring it together, then you start to form them. So you Are form... the form part going to be the problem now? Right. So what's, I know the, you... what's the form to form in it? All right. Come just go go so, you know. so because it's soft, right? Yeah. You want to just hop it from hand to hand. Oh. So while you're hop while you're putting it from hand to hand, you squeeze it before you drop it in the other oh. hand. So it forms the ball. Okay. Why, wh when you've gotten the ball, now you just press it. So, so you press, press it to it. get it like this. So this is the, the 
have the mercy. end result. So you, you press it a little bit. You know the chef, them always make it sound easy. <laughs> it How is. long that top machine? Come, I feel like mother did it all morning. I mean, you can be doing quick, you know, quick. Okay. So you have to practice the technique. You just do it quick and form them up. Because I mean, if you're in a restaurant, you have to be making it quick, fast. right? Right. Right. So you form them up, and you, you know, get the cake, the you cake get your, shape. Right. Right. And now you have your skillet. You mm. add some oil. You add some. What type oil. of oil do you use? Um, I use coconut. I use vegetable oil. For these, I did use uh, vegetable oil. Vegetable oil. Right. Mm -hmm. So I use some vegetable oil. You know, heat it up on the stove, and you drop in your fish cakes. And that's And because that. the, the the tuna is already cooked and processed, it doesn't take long. You just need them to get get some nice brown don't crisp cook it color. over no so you just want to get some nice crisp brown you know nice color on mm -hmm. it and right then you garnish and it. you garnish serve it up with some sauce whatever sauce you prefer um ramalad sauce which is you might know it as tartar sauce mm -hmm. it goes well with fish seafood yes so i did it with some ramalad sauce okay. today here and, and that's the end result here and listen when good food come Lovely jubbly names. <laughs> <laughs> Where do we find you, Shane? Uh, well, I am only on digital space just now. Um, so uh, social media, Instagram and TikTok. TikTok mm -hmm. is my biggest platform, 83,000. And I think my Instagram is oh, 29,000 something. So I'm almost at 30,000 followers wow. on Instagram. Wow, wow. You have a... Sunday dinner bites. Oh yes, that is the, the Can you do rice and peas? Kaita, I do me. rice and peas every almost every Sunday. So, Sunday dinner so my Sunday dinner vibes, so it's a series that I host on TikTok. Mm -hmm. So every single Sunday I do my um my Sunday dinner and I go through step by well, not this is step by step, but I show what I'm doing for my family. So every single Sunday, I if I if I miss a Sunday, it must be something that must be wrong. Mm -hmm. So that's what I'm popularly known for. Everybody loves it, and so I, your family just every Sunday you oh cook yeah, and them eat. I mostly cook. Come well, well done, you tell me where you live. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> and I do two meats. <laughs> Every Sunday? Yeah, man. No, you're real Jamaican. Jamaican. Yeah, come man. on, come on. Two meats. Where one meat I got? <laughs> two meats. That is a must. Oh, wow. That's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, Sunday time is a good time. Any time for family. Oh, yes. It's a good time. And food is a big mm -hmm. part of our culture and how mm -hmm. we bind ourselves yes. together. So I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. Shane, this is so much fun. Thank you for being here. Thank you for Guys, remember me. to go check him out. Look here. You're going to learn new ways to prepare traditional things yes. and sometimes you get some ideas and you say oh I saw him do it look here for about three months every Saturday was dedicated to frying dumpling until me get it right me have to take a break <laughs> never it now <laughs> me have to take a break but me go pick it up back <laughs> on Shane Road and cooking with Shane 876 remember check him out on TikTok and of course on IG Smile Jamaica returns after this break <laughs>